morning everybody uh, what a lovely day it is really really nice sunshine um right i would say that i have got the patience of a saint with my embroidery um i really have so i've got all these web stitches down here i mean and that there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen eighteen but in the past, I've done like 300 bullion knots on one piece of work. Just, and it doesn't bother me, I just sit there and it's rhythmical. I get lost in it and I love it and it doesn't matter how long something takes me, I'll take the time and I'll do it and I'll work with it. Um, but I've got no patience in terms of this. So I've got, if you look at this one, this was in my last video. Okay, I think it was in my, was it in my last video? Hey, no I don't, actually this was in my last video, this is in my blog, on my blog, so I've got nine of these seven inch squares now, these are seven inch squares with embroidery on, I've got nine of them at the moment, I'm going to keep making more, I'm going to make in a little book of stitches, okay, so it's seven inch here, two inch here, two inch here, so it's like eleven now by eleven, um, but still, and each of these seven inch squares is going to be bordered with patchwork of one inch squares. And 72 on there, so I need 72 for each one. Now, I'm not working that out, you can work that out. But because I'd finished some patchwork, I'm doing a bit of this, a bit of patchwork, a bit of this, a bit of patchwork, I had to put it on to see how it looks. So, no patience, wait until I've got all four. That's what I'm going to say. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, but I've also run out of fabric. So, this fabric, I'm using this. So each of these patchwork strips has got a mixture of that and that, okay, that fabric, and one Liberty Square. There's one Liberty Square in each strip. So here, there's one there and one there. Um, not intentionally placed together, it's just random. On here, there's like one there, one there one there there's one in every strip anyway um so but this fabric here i've run out of it and i ordered some over a week ago and it isn't here and i was just about this morning to email them and ask them where it was and i got an email to say it'd been dispatched so i've only got these but i've got these that are ready to be put into strips so i'm not quite sure without counting them all out now i don't know how many i've got but i don't think i've got enough to do all three the rest of the three sides of these anyway so that was me explaining why there's only one strip on this. Um, and it's just basically because I couldn't wait. I had no patience. I wanted to see how it looked. And I went for it. So I've still got the other three to put on when I get the fabric and when I get all the strips put together. So what I've been doing with this one. Now this was on my last video. And I just did some chain stitch around these little petals. And I was thinking out loud what am I going to do with the rest of the space. Um, and I said I didn't want something just plonked over here. So I decided to do tiny, tiny appliques, okay, and edge them with French knots. And they're appliqued using this fabric. I bought this fabric originally. I made it, my niece had a baby and a little girl. And I, and I made her a quilt for the baby and this was for the backing the backing of the quilt and I just loved it it was so pretty so that's why I started working with that um, so that's tiny little appliques with French knots round now originally I bordered just two sides and put the web stitches to denote that border so the seven inches is from there to here okay so the web stitches are about half an inch from the edge so then I had that space to fill after I'd done these appliques. So I've just done clusters of French knots and I've introduced a little bit of colour. So I've done some white French knots with lemon French knots in there as well. So what I thought I'd do today is I'll just do a couple of French knots with you in these white clusters. Okay, so I've already threaded my needle. Now stranded cotton, this is stranded cotton. Um, and I don't know if you know, if you do know... And, and I, well you know but it's surprising not a lot of people know this so just in case you separate your strands before you thread your needle so it comes in six strands this is probably four strands they'll take some off here so you would if you want two strands to work with or three you pull them off separately separate them like that then rejoin them and thread your needle 
um, because it just helps the stitch lie flatter, stops as much twisting, and to be honest, it just makes everything look so much better. So if I'd have used those two and I had some left and I wound them back on my card, when I came to use them again, I would separate them again. Every time I come to it, I separate and then rejoin. It just helps with the stitching. So on the other thing, so this is lemon stranded cotton DMC, colour 445. I don't necessarily put a knot in it when I'm doing something like this because I'm stitching into this clump of French knots here. Let me pull it. Into this clump of French knots here. I'll just go to the back and just do a couple of stitches through the back of those French knots. And it just saves time, I think, from tying a knot. And it secures the thread, it's fine. There, perfectly secure. And then I come through, and I'm doing three French knots in each clump, three lemon ones in each clump, and I'm not counting the white ones. I don't know how many's in the white ones. They're probably not all the same. Um, I just do it until I get a shape that I like. Um, so that's that one. Okay. And then to fasten it off, I would also just go to the back and do that. Just I just find it easier. Um, you get on a roll, you know what I mean? I've probably got enough thread here to do some more over here. So again, just through the back. I do apologise for the cough. I've had um, a cold for nearly two weeks. It's getting on my nerves now. Well, it got on my nerves on day one, but it's getting on my nerves even more now. Right, so come up in a space and do another three. And then this will be this one finished, and I'll probably see how many little squares I've got, to see how many strips of patchwork I can get done. But I will also another one of these together so that's three now that's probably all I'll get done from there by the time I have fastened off I won't have enough thread to do many more so I just fasten that off and then cut it off okay um, so there but I just couldn't resist putting that patchwork edge on I had to see what it was like um, Um, but what I did do was I didn't remove the cards from the end for so that I've got something substantial to add the other strips to when I come to make them. So there, just a little explanation of my impatience in certain situations. Um, but So now I need to just put French knots, lemon French knots, in those three clumps and then that's that one finished as well. And I'm trying to figure out how what the weight of this is going to be like when all these pieces are joined together and don't ask me how I'm going to join them together because I haven't decided yet um, but yeah it's a, it's a thing, I'm in it for the long haul because it's not going to be quick I mean I do have 10 embroidered squares which is a help but this is massively time consuming doing this um, but that really doesn't matter okay, have a lovely Saturday